Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got an autumn gradient that I'm going to stamp and this was requested by Angela. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 as my base coat and I'm going to use China Glaze's Mustard the Courage as my base color. I normally pick either white as a base color for gradients or the lightest color in the gradient and I just figured Mustard the Courage would work just fine today. Okay, this is the first time I've actually painted this polish on my nails, and I have to say I love it. Love it. I am going to top this one with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get it to dry down so that we can do our gradient. Beautiful polish, and I only did one coat of Mustard the Courage, and it's awesome coverage. Beautiful. I am going to be using my liquid latex as well as It's a Piece of Cake and Julie G's Eden and China Glaze Mustard the Courage for my gradient. I will be using a dampened wet makeup sponge that has been cut in half. Now this first round I'm showing you is at 1.25 speed so it's a little faster than what I'm actually moving. And as we go through the rounds, I will be speeding this video up a little bit. And I just tap, tap, tap until it stops really looking like it's getting very much polish. And then I reload my sponge again with some more polishes. And I do not let them dry in between. Y'all are seeing pretty much how I do it. I just, you know, I'll start with one nail like this time I'm starting with the middle nail and I go through the round to the ring finger the pinky then the thumb and then the pointer so we just you know I start on a nail and kind of move where my starting point is so that um, they're getting like the most of that gradient polish on that first round and then like my ring and then my pinky and then my thumb and my pointer and then my middle I hope that makes sense but I do not let this dry in between I just rock on through it if you are having trouble if it's trying to pick the polish back up you can wait just a minute or so between but I don't wait I just rock on through it I love this gradient these colors are perfect together they're so 70s and so hippie and so cool I just really, really love this. I, I just, I knew when I first started it, I was like, these are made for this. Beautiful. So I'm going to remove this liquid latex. I just snap it and pull it off because I don't want to drag it over my gradient. And then I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and try to get up some of this dried polish from around my cuticle. And now I'm going to tidy up the rest of it with my acetone and my cleanup brush. I might could wait towards the end to do this cleanup, but I like to do it as I go along. Makes me enjoy it more. I'm going to top this gradient off with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. And get it to dry down because I am going to do some stamping on this. Now this is a lovely manicure all on its own. It didn't need any stamping, but I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to. And that's a picture of it all by itself. I'll be using this Bundle Monster BM XL205 and Bundle Monster's BM XL201. I am a Starry Night Scraper and my AliExpress Stamper and NSO3, the gold and NSO2, and both of those are from Nicole Diary, and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper. I might have called that Stamper or Scraper, I'm sorry. Y'all see what I'm doing. Y'all know I'm just a little, you know, challenged. And for these, I always turn the Stamper upside down and just mush my finger down into the image. And I love to use that one when I'm not having to worry about placement. But on this one, I'm going to have to line it up over that previous stamp. So I am going to use a clear stamper. And I'm not lining it straight up. I want it off-centered because I want 
to see both colors. So there we go. And then I'm going to use this feather image on my accent nail. This is also what went on my thumb. And I'm going to do the same with it. I'm going to start with the black and then I'm going to double stamp over it with the gold. Just what I was seeing in my head today. I really, really love this manicure though. Um, and I really appreciate the request, Angela, because this was not on my radar and I am so pleased with how this one turned out. And it's thanks to your suggestion. So there we go, got the double stamping done. I'm gonna go in and do some more cleanup with my tape. <laughs> you guys know I'm a tape junkie from way back. But I do like getting up as much as I can with the tape. Um, black and white stamping polishes smear really bad and get stuck all up in my cuticles and in the skin of my fingers. And I just, the least I can avoid that, the better off I am. So I try to get as much of this up as I can with the tape. But it doesn't get all of it. So I am going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and just tidy this up a little bit. This manicure's coming together so well. Don't you love it when it happens like that? I know I do. I love, love this. The colors are just so pretty together. It's funny how you can take ugly pretties and just make a manicure look so pretty with it. So I'm going to top this with the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat to make sure I don't smear any of that design. There we go. Wanted to show you me doing both images. Love it, love it. There we go. Gotta break out Woody. Hi Woody. And now I'm gonna top it with Posh Top Coat to seal this design in and give it that glossy top coat effect. I need to refill my bottle. I'm having to re-dip. <laughs> but every time I fill it up, then I have to learn how to load it again without flooding my cuticles. The issues we struggle through. Oh, that's so pretty. The gradient's just so smooth. I just absolutely adore it. So here we go. I've got two swatch photos to share today. This was one of those that I just couldn't pick my favorite, so we're getting two. Here's the first one showing all five nails and then four nails. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.